What is up, YouTube? Welcome in and welcome back. So today I'm going to take another look at Baby Monster. Uh, they just came out with their uh, debut performance, video, song, video. I'm not sure what to call it. It's, I guess that's how Bruce debuted now. They put something out on YouTube. Um, so uh, it's been out for about... 24 hours and I believe it's already hit 20 million views when I clicked on it. Um, but, um, so I've been following them since I did the reviews earlier in the year on each one of them, uh, on Instagram. And, uh, you know, they've been teasing little videos, uh, a lot, several of them, like just a, uh, Takeda and Asia, they tend to do little, just Instagram, like they're dancing and doing their little moves, you know, in front of the camera and having a lot of fun. Uh, but the one thing that was missing, um, and people started to notice it around September, was Ion was not in any of the little videos. She wasn't in with any of them. You never saw her. And then as you got closer to this date, as the, the word started to get out that she wasn't going to debut with the group. Um and I think I said when I did her, uh, my reaction to her, uh, her performance was that I thought she was the most talented. And I believe the, the executive producer said she was the most talented and most versatile. Um, I definitely thought she was one of the strongest singers. Um, I think I described her as kind of a Jennifer Hudson of the group. Um, just has that powerful voice. But... Um, She's not debuting, debuting with them. Um, she, supposedly she's sick, um, but she hasn't been visible since, I would say, June. And the last thing we saw from her was like, she posted some Instagram pictures of her with her family. And I know when, she, when they did, uh, when I was doing the reviews of them, that uh, she was very close to her mother. I think even one time she was feeling very homesick. Um, so I'm not sure if she's actually really sick, you know, physically sick or if it's mental, you know, sick, sick, homesick, or just, you know, family issues or something other, something else going on. Um, mainly because um, just a time frame, you know, if she's been, she's been out of the picture for several months and if she was sick, like with a physically sick, I would think she would be generally well by now, unless it's something way more serious. But then if it was that serious, I would think they would remove her from the group. So I tend to believe it's something having to do with her, her mental health or just kind of where she's at in life. Um, which, you know, I think uh, someone might want to take a look at the impact, you know, putting these people, these uh, girls and boys both in these groups at such a young age. Uh, you know, she, she was in YG for four years before this. So she, she was in at like 11 years old, 10 or 11 years old. And I just think, I think that's too young, but you know, it's part of uh, Korean culture. I know there's been some pushback uh, within, you know, different political circles and, music industry about kind of, you know, not having such young girls in it. Uh, Cause I think it takes away from them growing up. If you just ask me, but I don't, you know, I'm not, what do I know? Um, because, you know, kind of the more I watch, I, I really like the older groups, you know, the, and when I say older, older in age, you know, like Dreamcatcher, you know, those are women um, that are singing, not little girls. Um, so, but anyway, despite all that, I was really psyched to see what they are doing. Um, like I said, they've been teasing this for like, seems like two months now on Instagram <laughs> every other day or so there's something up about baby monster. So, um, and I was like, probably, I thought she was her most talented singer, but they still have two very good singers. They all can sing. Um, but, uh. Harm, which now is Rami, which I'm, that was kind of bizarre. He changed her name. And Paitha is a really good singer also. 
So anyway, yeah, let's check them out and see what they're doing. And notice they got Takeda out there right at the front. She's such a personality. She's got the most personality in the group, I think. I'm on a mission. Don't need permission. No matter what, I'm going to make my own decisions. I'm talking you. You wanted to. You big old chuck and nigga. All the cave your nights and monsters. That really, uh, that was, that really featured uh, Ruka and Asia. That was, that was their song. They really, uh, and they really nailed it too. They really nailed the rap. Uh, the rap. Those are the two main rappers. Um, and they all can rap. I think he can rap. And I've heard, they've all done, can do everything. Um, but Ruka came in as a rapper and uh, really, made her mark um so i wasn't surprised to see that and then um aza was uh was also very good um and i think i they takia is uh she's the youngest of them all um but she has the most uh i think they're exactly right she has the most potential and uh to be a star um she has kind of that that it that like, you know, like Lisa has, you know, that kind of like just magnetic kind of smile and personality, um, you know, and just, she's just so cute and stuff. And I remember there was one time when, um, 
when uh, I think it was Lisa came into their practice and she almost passed out. It was so funny watching her. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we'll see what happens if they add the other, if uh, Ian comes back. Um, but, you know, they had enough talent from the get-go. Um, but, you know, I think the thing that's, that's, that's uh, you know, people that have been following the group, you know, she's the least, the, the last person you would expect not to be there. Um, she was the first person picked in the group when they picked, did the, the evaluations. Um, and I think she's probably was under more, I guess, social pressure because I think she's Korean. So um, Koreans tend to be a little harder on their artists where you have, you know, Chiquita and Pytho from um, Thailand. Um, and Asia and Amrika, I think, are from, I'm not sure which ones are from Korea, but there's two from uh, from Japan also. So, um, yeah, we'll see what, what happens going forward. Um, definitely had that YG kind of production, Blackpink kind of production. I saw a lot of stuff I'd seen in Blackpink videos in that. Uh, so we'll see what they do with them. But uh, I, I hope they do really well. Um, and we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. And if you found this interesting, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye.